Welcome back guys. Today we are here in Gary's garage. What's going on Gary? <laughs> uh, we got his brand new 2023 CF Moto E-Force 1000 XL. Getting ready to do shift linkage adjustment. Now, on the 2022 models, which is what we thought we were going to have to do. Cool little box these come with. Right down there where he's shining the light, normally you, that is where you would do your adjustment. But, that is stationary now and you cannot adjust it. So you have to, it has to be done from behind the actual shifter. And I don't know if you can see down in there or not. But it's right back in there. Um, kind of a pain to get to well what we thought we were gonna have to do is pull this whole bottom dash part out but while we were looking at it we realized that this is just an insert and you can literally get to it right there there's another on both sides. That's where you'll do your adjustment. I've seen a lot of posts lately about the U-Force 1000 XL and Gary's is doing the exact same thing. So just to show you, turn it on. You see it's in neutral. Reads high, reads low, neutral, reverse. Will not read park. So we're gonna to have to make the adjustment under there um, to where it will then read park and uh, we don't have any issues. I'm assuming probably two 19 millimeters, probably the same as in the back. Um, but yeah, just adjust them right there. We could To read park we feel like this is not installed very well as you can see there's a gap right there and there's still part of the shifter thing up there so we need to kind of see what's going on with that but we do have been able to get it to read park now at least and gary's favorite thing to do so far gosh darn it it's about as good as trying to lay an egg <laughs> All right. Okay, so it's all uh, done, put back together. That was much easier than taking the. Well, I don't know about easier, but no, we didn't have to take the whole dash off. Definitely easier than taking the whole dash off. So, but as you can see now, go ahead and run through them. It's reading park. There's reverse, neutral, high, low, with no problems whatsoever. That's gotta make you feel better. Yeah, yeah, it does. All right, so there you go, guys. Quick, easy way how to uh, adjust your shifter linkage. 2023 U-Force 1000 XL. Never done this before. Have you ever done anything like that before? Me? Yeah. Um, yeah, about five minutes ago. Right. That's so, about it. So we, uh, yeah, it's if it's easy enough for us to do it, you guys should be able to do it too. I ain't no kidding. I'm the dumbest person on this channel. <laughs> While I have you here, I need a recap of Southern Gap Mountain Mayhem. Beautiful. I've never been to Virginia in the mountains that I can recall. So many trails it was ridiculous. The night ride was probably the highlight. Uh, just the way it all worked out was even better. So 
we thought we missed it. So many things to do. They had all kinds of competitions and, and different events going on and the bands and met a lot of, I didn't meet one, one bad person there. Everybody was super friendly. Met a lot of cool people and different cool machines that were made, uh, casket, little casket go-kart and uh, <laughs> what is it called, a Sherpa? Is yeah, it, Sherpa was I've there. seen the Sherpa, just all kinds of machines, like some, some really nice looking machines. Our race was fun. Our race was horrible. Um, <laughs> but we had but a good it, time. But it was fun. We were, we were the worst, I think. We probably had the worst time of all of them. It was definitely, definitely a good time, good weekend, a good weekend getting to represent a three-star industry. Let's talk about why next time you want to buy a machine, it's going to come from Main Street Cycle. Oh, my gosh. Um, so anybody that's been following this channel for a long time knows I've had Polaris. And Justin always talked me, tried to talk me into getting a, a CF Moto, which I didn't have nothing against CF Moto. I just had a uh, bank loan on a Polaris. So... Paid that off, sold it, and I won the six-seater to haul everybody around in. I won't go into detail of where I got it, but what I will tell you, it was, uh, I've never worked so hard to sell myself a machine. And if I would have just drove about four more hours, I think it would have been well worth it. Take my advice, I've, I've had, what, seven machines now? Mm -hmm. And um, I bought from some local and I bought from some out of state. I can tell you, if I'm going to buy a machine, uh, especially a CF Moto, uh, with the knowledge that the guys have at Main Street Cycle, their willingness to sell you the machine and you don't have to sell it yourself. Well, not only that, but once you pick out your machine, they don't sell it to somebody else. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. I had all the paperwork done to buy this machine, sitting outside uh, the loan officer's um, office, waiting my turn to go in. And I call them just to, just to let them know, hey, I'm here to sign the paperwork. They had done talk to my loan officer, so they knew it was legit. The only blue U-Force 1000 XL I could find. Anywhere close. Anywhere um, close. Yeah, I'm glad I called because they uh, sold it after uh, I had been working two weeks to uh, get it. And that's after umpteen price changes on me. So. so if you want to beat the hassle and... and Get somebody that knows the machine oh not to mention that we picked it up there's no way they did the final walk around because they would have caught the shifter linkage off and they would have caught the huge uh, out of my tailgate that yeah. i had to make them change before i left that was so bad and i'm sure justin will upload a picture of that oh, in yeah. this part yeah uh, but if you want it honestly if you want a you know a cf moto a cf moto but if you want the uh, great service and, and uh, guys that are going to stand behind their product and, and their service on the product and not sell the machine out from under you. It's worth the drive to go down the Main Street Cycle because they will take care of you. Um, and, you know, honestly, I've been with Justin when he's called them up and asked them questions and they're more than willing. You've been down there with me before. Oh, yeah, I've been there. Yeah. And if you get to go down, you might see Blake. Yeah. You might see Blake. You might see Steve. I might see Joel. Joel. I guarantee you'll see Joel. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, that's my advice to you. Hands down, the best, and, and like I said, I'm, I'm not a smart man, and that, that proves it. I should have just went to Main Street Cycle. All right, there you hear it, guys. Buck Gary is now a CF Moto owner. He is loving the U-Force 1000 XL. Just a couple little quirks to uh, work out of it that the uh, dealer didn't. And uh, should be good to go. So thank you guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.